you're this perp back with another video and i just got done watching the season finale of raised by wolves this is a brand new series on hbo max definitely go watch this series but before i get into this review this will be somewhat spoiler you know filled uh review i'm gonna just kind of give you the gist of the whole entire season and just the series and kind of where the direction is going um i'm gonna leave season two predictions for another time but with all that being said let's get right into it because there's a lot to talk about now this is such a fascinating show to me um just the whole premise it's kind of this adam and eve mixed with like noah's ark there's a lot of religious overtones throughout this whole entire series we have our two main characters that we get introduced to in the first episode mother and father very basic and easy to follow they're essentially these androids and you know um mother is a very key character throughout this first season as you know she gives birth to or she's able to give birth to these uh embryos and you know i think there was like eight at first so and, and i think only six were born yeah that's right because campion campion is number six uh he's one of the characters also within this um and their whole purpose at first is you know just preserving life kind of and these characters have different motives from the start to where it ends at the last episode you know um mother has this like really non-believer atheist type of outlook on society and whatnot but as you progress throughout the series you see her character really change as far and father as well you know at first i didn't really wasn't liking the direction they were taking father i thought he was just going to be some type of beta but i was sadly mistaken and you know seeing the growth of this development throughout the, with these characters and them trying to survive through these weird terrains because why they got sent to this planet is because earth was destroyed there was like this huge war that broke out and i'm, I'm assuming it had something to really do with you know the world being taken over by religion and you have pretty much uh believers versus non-believers and extremists and there's a lot there's a that's what i'm saying there's a lot to kind of really dive in with this show it's a very there's a lot of mixtures of different religious aspects and different mythologies kind of blend into one um there's a lot of foreshadowing when you go back and watch the first episode and you see where it's at now um but let's talk about mother's progression and just her her role in all of this because she starts off as atheist but then as you get to like the middle of the season she gets this kind of revelation of what her true purpose is because you know she's able to find out who her creator is and more about her her true purpose because she is pr practically a weapon of mass destruction but she got reprogrammed by this atheist and that's why she has the thoughts that she has now but then she just gets a different kind of insight on the world and really is able to figure out her purpose and campion this is where campion comes in as he's the last remaining child because all these other kids uh that were born died over time besides campion he's the last one standing out of the six and you know that's pretty tough on him because he he's been he's been through it he's seen the ups and downs and at times 
at times he can kind of get a little annoying but it's in his character and as it progresses you start to really sympathize for campion and what he's going through and you start to root for him because he his character is going to play a huge part going into season two and if they have a season three four or five or whatever um but he's kind of that last bit of that humanity you know he's the very humane type of character also we get introduced to other characters as well throughout this series um but i do find campion and father's relationship throughout this series to be one of my favorite you know it's just that father and son bond and there were that like campion was definitely more close to father than he was mother um which is really interesting and you even see the the growth of father's character as he's actually becoming a father teaching these kids how to hunt how to survive and you know sticking to his morals um not trying to be in the shadows he's trying to have a purpose you know and this is why i find so fascinating about all these different characters that we get introduced to i want to see more of campion's character and how they're going to progress his character going forward considering what happened at the end which we'll get to um also seeing mother's ability when she has these certain eyes that makes her this deadly like she's a deadly character but you know that's her her whole existence is where the whole sci-fi goes because she's able to see things in the past and interact with things that you a normal person really couldn't interact with um she goes through a, a lot of different emotions and i that's one thing i like about this show as well with the androids they're not like westworld androids they're more real i feel like they're more realistic here because they still feel artificial but they're also learning as things are going throughout the story it's it's really dope um let me know how you guys feel about mother and father who's your favorite and you know who would you side with um because they definitely bump heads a lot you know um as far as how they go about uh certain making certain decisions for the greater good um but these two really make what really make this show i feel like like without these two um i don't know where this show would really go because you know they're they're supposed to be a res uh, representation of you know humanity in a way especially mother that's her kind of her whole goal is to um keep humanity going because they're damn near extinct at this point um, so let's get into possibly my favorite part of this series is the antagonist or the villain um, that goes by the name of Marcus. And this is what's so interesting about Marcus's character as, you know, he's essentially undercover. He's playing this like kind of religious figure to, you know, um, get some intel, but then he gets kind of caught up in the whole mission of things and you know uh you see how truly savage he is compared to the other type of um militant guys i forget the actual like faction that they they're from or the religious group i'm drawing a blank on it but it kind of reminds me of the knights of the templar because they they mention you know they pray to this being named soul that's kind of like god or you know um solomon I'm, I'm assuming and he plays a very very interesting character as he marcus and mother really have a lot in common as far as how they their characters have started off um both being kind of non-believers and religion being kind of 
warping warping one of their minds which is marcus is you know he gets really caught up in just everything and feeling like he's the chosen one and i'm so glad that they didn't kill him off because i think his interaction with campion is going to be interesting especially paul because that's technically his father speaking of which i forgot to mention that after the original five out of the original six of the children that mother gave birth to not really gave birth to but you know um help raise died she ends up going to this arc where all these kids are staying where you know marcus and his kind of group of people are from and they're look they're looking for all these like missing arcs that crash landed on this planet um but mother does some savage shit and just takes these kids and takes them in as their own and you know at first they were kind of like iffy about it because they pretty much got kidnapped but they ended up starting to become comfortable with the fact that maybe it's all right that we're with mother and father these androids they actually do care you really see you know them teach them teaching them everything just how to survive and you know they've been so so uh sheltered but they're all really smart especially paul paul is probably my favorite next to campion and you know um it's going to be interesting to see these two characters paul and campion because i feel like going into season two they're going to play a huge major role and there's number seven out there um because mother did give birth to another child later on in the series but was it really a child or was it it she pretty much gave birth to a, a real monster and you know they try to do everything in their power to destroy it but it just it's growing at a rapid pace and like i said the foreshadowing in this is pretty crazy and i'm curious to see where this all goes will campion and paul and the rest of them be able to survive without mother and father are mother and father completely gone those are the questions i have going into season two are they going to be able to stop number seven because number seven is not really even human he's some type of big ass snake monster looking thing and that thing is pretty damn intelligent so this is that's gonna be pretty scary it's pretty much the antichrist <laughs> essentially like i said this mixes a lot of different mythologies and you know uh religious things uh i i really like the whole sheep in wolf clothing with marcus's character i think that's definitely my favorite character i'm drawing a blank on his real name i don't know why i'm drawing a blank on his real name but let's just call it let's just call it marcus from now on um and the the whole prophecy of this orphan boy will be the chosen one which that's interesting about marcus's character because he becomes obsessed of with of becoming the savior which this orphan boy now is pretty much campion which was it blows my mind with this finale there's just so much to kind of unpack i hope i covered most of what is in this first season um if i missed anything let me know uh let me know how you guys feel about this whole overall season what to expect for next season till next time i'm out